Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another Dead Walking Dead characters profile video. Today we're looking at both Mateus and Rose, two Maryland Baltimore survivors. Mateus is of course male, he is played by Javier Carisquillo. He is mid to late 20s and first appeared in Omega. Rose is of course female, she is played by Caroline Arapoglo. She is late 20s to early 40s and first appeared in Omega. Nothing is known about either of their lives pre-outbreak, aside they may have resided in Maryland or a surrounding state. When the outbreak began, both Mateus and Rose soon joined an abandoned warehouse in Baltimore, which doubled up as a refugee slash survivor camp, hiding away from the undead, their supplies slowly dwindling. In a season 9 flashback on day 23, of the outbreak, Mateus puts a sign up saying no entry to the upstairs part of the building, likely meaning there's something horrific he's seen upstairs. He carries his lantern to the table where Rose is trying to wind up a radio alongside Lamar. They listen to the emergency announcement. Nine days later, Rose and Mateus listen to the emergency broadcast with Lamar, Amanda, Cyrus and D, aka Alpha. Rose says she thinks they should stay. They watch Frank and D have a disagreement as D wants to go out and look for supplies but Frank wants to stay and it's confusing because obviously they're switching roles in Lydia's faulty narration. So Lamar, Cyrus and Amanda, they decide to head out to look for supplies and 11 days later Mateus hears a car alarm and wants to head out thinking it could be his friends. Rose stops him telling him plainly they left 11 days ago, so it probably won't be them. Mateus then begins to shout, they're running out of food, they haven't seen daylight in weeks, and they have to do something. Rose tells him to shush, as he could attract the dead. D tells them all to shut up, and Mateus panics, saying he's going to die in here. He says he can't breathe, and he has to get out, so he runs to the boarded up window, trying to bash it and screaming for help, thinking people have to be outside. Rose shouts at him to stop, D grabs Mateus, covers his mouth, telling him to shut up and he's going to get them all killed. She throws him to the ground, gets on top of him, covering his mouth and crushing his neck, calling him weak and pathetic, and she's not going to let him risk her and her family's life. And then this happens to Mateus. Throat crushed, causing him asphyxia. Rose watches the whole ordeal in horror as they begin to hear gunfire outside. Rose discusses what they should do with Mateus' body as he's going to start to smell, agreeing to take his body outside when it's the morning. Rose probably helps to place Mateus' body in the centre of the shelter, covering it with a tarp. However, as Lydia inspects Mateus' body, he begins to reanimate, sitting up now a walker. His sights are set on Lydia, and her screams make him snarl and wake everyone else up, including Rose. A shelter member protects Lydia, and Mateus bites his neck as he screams. Chaos erupts, and within it, Rose is either killed by a walker Mateus, or another reanimated survivor. Either way, Rose didn't make it. Mateus likely remained a zombie, and Rose could have too, and maybe by now both of their walker selves have been put down by another survivor, or who knows, maybe they're still roaming there as walkers. Anyway, RIP Mateus and Rose. Also, in an alternative retelling of Lydia's story, a zombie Mateus attacks Frank first and bites his neck, but this obviously was invented. Rose was a character present to fill out the cast of the flashback Baltimore characters, but Mateus was more than that. He was Alpha's first kill, showing that this woman was brutal and capable of doing anything that would ensure her and her family's survival. Anyway, thanks for watching this profile. Okay, last episode I said I'd sort out the wheel. Turns out there was actually another profile that was selected, and I also lost that wheel footage too. So the next one is going to be another unseen wheel pick and that is gonna be blah, this yeah this i know but i promise in that episode which is episode 333 i will continue it but before then i've got a few profiles to do and the next one is another big profile not quite a rosita level but still a big task so thanks for watching this video goodbye